in coupon to start off the episode. Hey, Bobbery, are you good? Oh, he's not even here. That's awesome. I'll take one of these. Dude, I got all the shine sprites as I get back to Rogueport. Gotta love that. I'm gonna slide down here. Can I? Is there anything worthwhile down here? Maybe back over here. I don't know. But what I do know is I'm enjoying Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Mr. Bwix O'Brien. I'm the guy you're watching play the game and hopefully enjoying your day as much as you possibly can. Look at this. Go all the way on the other side here. Uh, coconut? Coconut. Coconut. Fruit from a tropical island, to be honest, it ain't tasty. It ain't tasty. I haven't heard a game say ain't as a word in a long time, man. That's been a long, hot minute since I've heard that term used anywhere around here. But regardless of that, I hope your day is good. Mine is good. It's a Friday night. A lot of my friends are actually at a convention this weekend. I am not there because the convention is, it's kind of like a a pseudo anime convention like it's not really an anime convention it's supposed to be comics and stuff but the convention i'll never name names but the convention's not great it's in connecticut so how is this legend that meets his end eh well let's have him not meet his end get out of here you goomba flames i'll take care of you it's the last thing i ever heard all right five damage out the gate but it's still not enough I did equip some stuff from last time, which was all about uh, all about the uh, badge power being added for uh, what I got here. So there is some stuff cooking, but not really anything too crazy. Just like kind of supplemental stuff, just uh, you know, add to the overall lineup of what it is. Wow, I can't believe I actually got that one. It, it took me a second, but I got it. Beautiful. So yeah, I, I didn't want to go to the convention. I I wanted to lay back for a little bit you know i have quite a busy a couple of weeks coming up and obviously disney is uh, as i've said before quite the commitment on multiple fronts including financially so rather not go to a, a random convention i'm not like 100 percent wanting to go to anyways for the sake of it right prioritize all the all the fun things right that's basically where i'm at oh the pain of it all oh mario old boy Oh, <laughs> I guess those blokes got me a bit better than I thought. Mario, please hear my last request. I must thank you for taking me out to sea one last time. But there is one thing I need before I go to my rest. Chococola. I was saving that one bottle in my memory of Scala to celebrate reaching here. I saw it among the floatsome drifting toward the island, so it must be somewhere. If I have just one sip before my final voyage... <laughs> Get me that Choco Cola, oh boy. So we have to go back to the shore, get him the Choco Cola, and come back. I have a feeling he's not going to croak. I have a feeling that's not going to happen. But I do have a spite pouch. So I guess I'll grab him his, his Coke and get back. But it's going to take me a second. I'll be, up. I'll, I'll be right back. Ooh, a star piece over here. Very nice. See, I thought the, the cola might be somewhere over here. No, it is not. Hey, do y'all know anything about a cola? Whatever happened to him? Hey, you. Ah, so y'all are still alive. We have some fortune left. I thought some jungle beast was snacking on you. Well, everyone is accounted for. Now, one moment. Am I wrong? We're still missing one man short. That's right. But Bobbery sacrificed himself to save us. Please, we gotta go back and help him. What lunacy bursts forth from your mouth? The Admiral lives? What fortitude? Mario, front and center, I entrust you with the mission to save our dear Admiral. Hmm? What is it you say? Chuka Cola? Why would I have that? But, uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? For his life. The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his final wish. So what are we dealing with here as a sort of last request, am I correct? But Flavia has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chuka Cola is part of my, I mean, our supplies, which means we need it to survive. I will need to find something to eat to replace this, and I do not budge. Yes, I'm sure there's something on this island that will be suitable replacement. You mean... Make it good. I'm the editor of the Floppish Gore... How about a coconut? You want a coconut? Ah, uh, aha, it's a coconut, is it not? That is fine and fair, but somewhat cliche. 
Well, I perhaps I'd set my hopes too high for a foraging non-gomad such as you. Take the chuka cola and give my regards to the Amaro. Um, that's not it. Oh, I thought, I thought that was it. There we go. Flavia's treasured beverage. Actually, it's Barbary's. Tell him to waft the back, the bouquet. Swizzle it gently and savor all the fine fizziness. So while I was uh, over toward this way, I did encounter the enemies because they all respond. So I am like two points away from a level up. So I'll show you the process of me defeating these enemies here, getting the level up, and I'll be good to go. Uh, stage is packed, looking real nice, looking real good on a Friday night. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear and take care of you. Now, what I'm actually going to do, too, is probably re-challenge all the enemies that were around uh, back toward Bobbery as well. Because I like killing some time and I want to get the uh, star points. So, I'm not going to show them because it's literally the same battles I already did. But, BP, sure, why not? Just keep going for it. Whatever. It's all good. It's fine. So, I'm going to bring the fizzy back to Bobbery. I want to make sure all these enemies are destroyed as much as possible get as many level ups as i can in a decent amount of a way right yeah they all respawn all right so i'll just i'll meet you back at bobbery hello chuka cola chuka chuka <laughs> that distinctive bouquet you brought it this glorious flavor boy it awakens the mouth so the sea was generous enough to deliver me one last grace huh I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting me one last wish. Now I shall be reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Get up! <laughs> you bitty hobbity pirates! Where are those pirates? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, oh boy, it is you! The adventures in the afterlife as well, capital! You're still alive, you bozo! Hmm, yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? All right. Now I recall, Mario, oh boy, we have work to do! You better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, huh? And Admiral Bobbery's added to the party, baby. Bobbery allows you to explore areas you haven't before using uh, a primer. Use X to release Bobbery and uh, explode because he is a bob ob, as you could imagine. Launch him into the air. He'll do a little bit of a walk and then Karplowy obstacles are no more enemies are no more and luckily you can use him against any enemy really on the ground because um it's an indirect contact essentially so it doesn't matter if you're ground pounding or whatever like the it's it's an explosion so it's obviously gonna be very impactful so bobbery is awesome in general he's awesome to have in your party so very much worthwhile uh, a partner to have really uh, any any part of the journey man this guy this guy's awesome so has a very meaningful story a very awesome attitude and uh, i'm all about it so uh what you're going to want to do here is try this that doesn't work um i forget what to do hmm oh the gym I say this rock looks like a fiendish grinning skull. If there's a spot you could insert something, I feel a certain seen something in the shape as an indentation, but I can't bring it to, to my mind. Blast it. That's clearly the gem that Flavio has that has to go right there. Now, if I need to go back through all of that all over again and need to re-encounter all the enemies all over again, I'm going to do it because I got 50 star points, basically, just from re-encountering all the enemies. So I'm going to do that again if I need to. But if I don't, I do. All right. So give me a second. Actually, you know what? Don't give me a second. I'm going to show you what Bobbery can do in battle. At least a little bit here. With just this one example. These enemies aren't new, but the circumstances are. So it's worth showing you at least once, right? We're obviously going to have Bobbery a lot uh, for a while here, but you know. 
So essentially, you just hold down A, he'll explode, do the thing, and then boom. There's four damage done right there. Um, Power Smash is probably going to take care of this. So, so he has another ability as well, which works really well for multiple enemies. So once I encounter a battle... Is that going to get him? Yeah, it is. Cool. Sweet. So once I have a, a battle that has like four or five enemies, I'll show you what Bobby's uh, mini bomb ability can do. Just like this one right here. So Bomb Squad is going to be uh, you launching these mini bombs all throughout the area, and they will actually explode depending on where exactly uh, they land. So it's kind of interesting, right? Kind of a spicy way to... Uh, have your battle be what it is. I'm going to use a Thunder Rage just for the sake of doing it. Getting rid of the uh, the thing. You know, they're obviously not going to destroy him entirely, but, you know, it's fine. So, essentially, you have to wait a turn. That's kind of the only downfall of this whole thing. Uh, you have to wait for the bombs to tick off, and then, you know, you're good to go, essentially. I missed that one as well, but hey, I didn't get poisoned. That's great. I'm not a fan of poisoning. That's for sure. Maybe I can use some... Oh, it actually takes two turns. Interesting. So if I go and use a uh, bomb on you, you might actually be done. Yes, you are. Okay. So I think those mini bombs, like they basically act, ooh, a nice uh, power up here because of that luck being a lady tonight. So unfortunately, if the bombs are nowhere near close to the enemy, yeah, you're not going to have a great time. You're going to actually uh, basically get no damage done, which might be the case here. Let me see what the deal is. If we have this. No, Bob got poison. That's okay, though. It's not going to last that long anyways. Come on. Two. And it got three damage there. So if you keep stacking up that ability, you basically wipe the floor with the mini bombs over and over again, you'll be good to go. So there's that. Uh, for right now, that's the only abilities he has. I got a super mushroom out of it. Cool. But yeah, I'm going to defeat these enemies, get the star points, and do the thing. Enemies defeated Flavio. Ah, it is Bobbery. Welcome back to you. Do you know what? Are we worried here? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard it is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch and snuck upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no more yelling. It is time to put together and work as a team. Flavio, oh boy, I must say you talk rather too much. Such insolence! I, I growl like an angry jungle beast, I order. So in any case, Mario, the crystal star you spoke of earlier was a rather odd rock in that east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Call it an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Hey, Bobbery, you want to know what really smells suspicious? Oh, I thought he was going to fart. Smells like low tide, <laughs> but seriously. You may be onto something with that skull rock. I say where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. You was, uh, I was already in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from evasion. Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make some requests, but you know. Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you want the treasure, why don't you get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, uh, Admiral, you see, I, uh... Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fan square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go investigate the Skull Rock? Oh, heck yes. Take him, please. Have fun out there. Jerk off with you. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square. What? It's fair and square? Uh, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will join your party for a short time. So, now I need to go all the way back and get... All the way back to the Skull Rock. Are the enemies back? Am I leveling up? I am not, actually. Oh, sorry. I thought I had Yoshi. I thought I had Poggy. I thought I had Poggy on me. Oh, well. But luckily, yeah, Bobbery will just uh, disappear, reappear when you toss him out. He responds fairly uh, fairly quickly here. So, yeah, if you're not re-encountering all these Oh, actually, one of them. All right. Flavio doesn't do anything, though, right? Flavio's useless. He doesn't appear in battle. He does not appear in battle. Okay. Well, I'll use Art Attack and get this over with uh, very quickly here. I could use Power Lift, but I don't feel like delaying this any any further. Just going to do this to the best of my ability here. Let's see if I'm any better than when I was a kid. Actually, no, I'm not at all. 
you literally just have to draw in a circle. And that's pretty much it. And yes, it is as difficult as you think it would be, even though I got 100%. Everything totally fine there. Nine star points, which brings me to a hundred on the dot, actually, which is exactly what I intended. Beautiful. I am going to keep going for BP. And you might be like, Brian, why is that the case? Because obviously you unlock more badges as time goes on. You can change your uh, your play style as you want to. I'm doing okay in battles right now. I am running a little bit low on FP, but that's okay. So for right in this moment, let's say we go over to badges, right? And we have everything sorted by how powerful everything is all the way down here. There is one for power plus P, boosting attack power there. Um, defense plus is actually what I'm going to go after right here. Um, increasing Mario's defense by one, because obviously every... Um, every... Uh, let me go with uh, this, actually. Increase Mario... Sure, why not? Um, every partner is obviously very important. You want to make sure you're prepared for battle and all that. But if Mario faints, then everything's over. So if I can get just a little bit more defense out of some things, maintain my health at a pretty uh, consistent pace, then I'm pretty much good to go. So that's what I'm after really and truly right now. Next up, I'm going to do FP. And then as long as I maintain that, I should be okay, man. For right now, at least, that's it. Uh, now, what is all this? A dead end taunting Flavio with this dead endedness. But this is, I think, the Skull Rock Bobbery blathered about. Well, it positively reeks of ancient secrets, yes? Let's plunge into this puzzle. What do you mean? You put the. Oh, wait, star piece? Yeah, there we go. Cool. I saw it at the corner of my eye. Skull Captain Cass. I'm not, I'm not singing this. I'm not singing this. Blue Stash Belly four times is whacked. So let's hear the fireworks go boom. Wait, what? Oh, that's the secret. Hold on. One more time. Red jewel shines. Yep, that's fine. The Stash Brothers best friends. Three times red. Three times red Stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. Okay. What is it you ask me of? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is that correct? No, what Oh. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm the one that's like crazy here. It's the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know? But I suppose it's all right because I am Flavio. He has such ludicrous wealth. Just lending it to you though. Don't you die run off with it. So you're supposed to like encounter this thing and be like, what do I do? Like, I thought, I thought each of them represent, they do represent a Mario bro. That's why. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's what you got to do. So even though they're the things, you have to turn them around before you do anything. Whoa. Hey. Let's pop that bad Larry right up there. Thank you, Mr. Bobbery. So if Bobbery never showed up, we would be in big trouble. Big, 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 big trouble. Such excitement, the cave entrance. Oh, ha, ha, wow. my skull gem. Mario, what were you thinking? The gem was part of the house of Flavio. Phew. Oh, what a happy day. I have my skull gem back. The jolliness, no end. Now then, I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let this camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? Now let me know when you find that glittery treasure, all right? Okay. He's a bit of a goomba. Anyways. Scoffing at the danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble with anticipation. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Pirates Grotto. The secrets of the grotto shall make themselves known, man. Now we're into the keyhole key and all the wonders that it has for us. All right. Dive deep into the belly of the beast. We got a little bit of that happening here. That's how we're going to escape eventually, I feel. Oh, whoa. hey, there we go. So I've never seen this area 
in uh, the new style here. Oh, flame. There we go. Striking first on the flame blaze, baby. We've encountered the blue variants, but I believe the red variants are a little bit more uh, spicy. And we got punies in the crowd. Beautiful. Definitely do not, do not want to jump on a flame. That's for sure. That is not a pro gamer tip at all. Don't jump on fire. That is very bad. That is a bad idea in every way, shape, and form. Let's see what this defense plus helps us with. Two damage on the guard, which is mama sauce, baby. Beautiful. That's what you want to see. All right. So by upgrading your BP and having the proper badges, you can get a lot of really good stuff in your arsenal. And even though you're not upgrading your health a ton, you can play things a lot more uh, logistically soundly and uh, be a lot better off, man. So another shine sprite. I think that's up to five that we got in the bank right now, which is awesome. Definitely love that. Another star piece here. Plenty of action with that. Another flame, whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna go for the art attack, unless there's only two of them. Oh yes, I'm going for the art attack. You know, you know that's happening right here. Um, it is difficult, like I said before, getting the circles on there and doing that. Yeah, it's uh, it's not the easiest. It's literally not the easiest thing in the world. So if you can get, oh, okay. Sorry, I, I can't draw circles apparently. See, this is why uh, my buddy Kevin uh, illustrates Pro Gamer's Guide, uh, because I can't even draw a circle in Paper Mario. I get some star points out of it. I get 16. But if I can't draw a circle on a, on a control stick, imagine if I tried to draw Bricks O'Brien, Polly the Parrot, Cuddles the Penguin, and uh, everybody else here. That would be uh, bad news bears. So I'm actually going to go for uh, Vivian because the Veiled Shay is going to do this. Yeah, got to avoid that at all costs and go. There we go. Uh, you saw that there was a wrench kind of over toward that way. That's actually what we're going to be grabbing in a hot second here, or at least hopefully so. I don't know how we can navigate, possibly navigate the waters. Ooh, because I have the, um, the low damage uh, badge on. So basically, any time that there's an enemy that is super, super low on the, um, on the damage done, uh, I just jump on it and it goes away. So that worked out super nicely. I don't know how many HP the bullet bills have. I haven't done a tattle in a hot minute here. Actually, four. That's pretty spicy, actually, for, uh, for damage and whatnot there. It is going to burn the bullet bill launcher, thankfully, here. At least for a little while. I don't know how much that'll actually do, but that's beside the point. All right. Um, one damage, whatever. That's fine. So, yeah. Um, if you happen to jump on the bullet bills, you will go into a battle with them if you're not careful about that. So, I can't attack you. Yeah, great. So, having that badge is super helpful if you don't feel like wasting your time. Um, typically, when enemies fall under that bracket of, like weak enough that you can just jump on them they're not going to give you a lot of star points anyway so don't waste your time which is also valuable you could be watching more bricks o'brien videos in the time it takes you to challenge these enemies that are not worth your time just like the enemies you may encounter in life everybody out there all right some of those people some of those those enemies you face off against just not worth your time man don't even bother holding the gizmo but there's an item that fits perfectly in there too this guy this guy, I'm going to go with uh, Bobbery, though. Show you a little bit what's for here. Big, big Bomba. Big Bomba. Show you show you what this is like. Um, they can definitely get set off very easily. And they do big damage. And I believe they do damage to the crowd as well. So be very careful when facing off against these guys here. Uh, four XP out of them is spicy as well. I think they might need another turn. Oh, they actually don't. Well, I told you. I told you they'd be a problem. And uh, thankfully, I, uh, I didn't lie to you. Not this time. So there you go. So they have an, uh, a knack for exploding, which is actually going to be a problem if you are uh, encountering multiple enemies. So you want to get the XP out of them, right? You don't want to just sit there willy-nilly and whatever. Um, I guess I can go for, um, no, just a regular hammer here. Play this as it is. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to be going to Disney in just about, I think, a month. Yeah, I leave, uh, August 20th. August 20th, I leave, so 
It's currently uh, uh, July 19th, so literally a month from now, I'll be in Disney, or at least preparing to go to Disney, which it's going to be very hot. I'm going to melt like a snowman, and I am not looking forward to it. But luckily, these shirts right here, they're very, um, very loosey-goosey, and they aren't uh, awful, like, like not very hot to exist in. So I'm going to probably buy a bunch more of these collared shirts to, to wear around Dizzy. Diz Dizzy? To Disney. That's how I'm going to feel after being in the heat for 19,000 hours a day, waiting in line for rides and stuff, going to Dizzy Disney, whatever. Um, I plan on going to all the parks. I'm going to have the full experience as far as I understand. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good time, but it will be very hot and very expensive. But, you know, that's, uh, comes with the territory here. How can I grab this? Just going to try this real quick. No. Is it this? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Beautiful. So just by having coops out in the party, that's what makes that work. Wonderful. Can I just hop across here? I totally can. Yeah, I totally can. I keep forgetting that I can swap the way that I actually want to here. Buzzy Beetle, no! Uh, toss you up here. No, Buzzy Beetle! Dang it. Well, the Buzzy Beetle are going to be flying in the air. Um, I guess I'll just... The standard fare. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be long days. Like, going to Disney, you might think is relaxed. Really, they're not impacted by the fire there. Interesting. So actually, Bobbery is the worst to have in this situation. Look at all these people. Goomba is trying to throw rocks at me in the audience. Don't be doing that. Don't be throwing rocks at people. Okay? Not not the pro gamer tip you'd think it is. Can I just use a, a thing and get this over with? Yeah. Let's just do let's just do this. Fire flower. So yeah, gonna be going to all the parks. Uh, excited to. Never mind. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Let's use Art Attack just to get this over with. Just to just to use up the star points, get this over with, and get on about my business here. Hopefully, I can redeem myself. That's not redeeming myself, actually. Not even close. Okay. Gotta love when the recording software randomly crashes. Sorry about that, but I just defeated them. You know, no problem really whatsoever. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, I'll at least defeat this enemy. And we'll see where life takes us. But it's it's just gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot over the over the course of the trip. It's not a relaxing vacation. You're always going out and you're doing stuff. You're going to the next ride. You're going to whatever happens to come next. It's just a it's just a massive days of of walking around in the heat, waiting for uh, rides and food and everything. Apparently, the parks have been a little less crowded as of recently, so it's kind of leaving me a little optimistic that I'm not going to have a yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm not going to have an awful time. I'm not anticipating having a bad time, but like. You know, sweating constantly for, like, a week is not going to be great. But, you know, it is what it is, right? We have to carry on and move forward before we encounter the encounter the things that we need to to uh, enhance our life here. This is a whole thing, actually, so don't mind me. I'm just going to... Never mind. I'm going to fall right into the water, actually. Just fall right in here real quick. Wait. Wait. Wait, like I'm waiting for a stop sign. Never mind, it has to be coops. Has to be coops. Right here. There we go. Uh, let's do. We gotta wait, actually, right here. Come on. Oh, it's just a moving platform. Do I have to press it again? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. So. Uh, you have to wait for Coops to not hit a wall. So, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. Wait for that. I love that it shows you now where the arrow is on him. So you can actually just go and grab this and come back, and you're good. Grab that. Thank you. And I'm totally going to do this again, because I totally want that uh, that piece there. 
So, like I said, I'm most excited to uh, be in Disney for quite a period of time. Like, I like Disney, but I don't love a lot of stuff the way that a lot of other people do. It is... It's going to be a long, long trip. A long trip and a lot of really cool... St wow, it was just right out of reach there. You see that? That was unbelievable. So, yeah, it's going to be a long trip with a lot of stuff to do. I'm very excited for it, but, but yeah. Um, I have to prepare in all ways, shapes, and forms. What's really exciting about this trip, actually, is not only am I going, but I'm going to be making videos out of it. So my entire trip is going to be documented in one way or another. So you'll get to see some of the rides that I get to go on, the food that I'm going to be eating, my overall impressions of go like going to Disney. Not that Disney is like, a, it's, it's not a bad, you're not going to have a bad time really at Disney. But from my perspective and all the things that I do, sharing that with everybody there, making a whole, a whole big thing out of it. That's basically, basically my goal for, uh, for the trip. So if you are interested in watching my shenanigans at Disney World, by golly, you are in for the time of your life or a time of your life, as it were. No star power refueled here, but I can go into here, unlock this door with the grotto key, and I'm going to have to wait and see what lies behind the grotto door in the next episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. All right. I'll see you again next time very soon for more paper reaction. All right. Bye.